Robbie Homesteaders, welcome back to Peak's Peak. Today, we're gonna give you another tip on the Kubota BX tractor. So I just got home from work, got all the animals fed. I've kind of been looking forward to getting out here in the shop and I'm working on putting together this engine for the Volkswagen uh, BW Bug we've got here. And I've got the crankshaft all assembled and so I was looking to get started on cleaning the engine case so I'll be ready to start putting it back together. But I thought of something that I need to share with you guys. On my Tuesday videos, I like to share something tractor related and sometimes it's just projects I'm doing with the tractor, other times it's maintenance tips and things like that. And I thought of one that is very important. You might run into this problem, so I wanted to make sure that everybody that has one of these Kubota BXs knows about this problem and how to address it. Now, this is going to be a simple tip and a lot of you probably are already aware that this is there, but this is one that can stop your day in its tracks or shut you down before you ever get started because this one grease fitting can keep your tractor from running. Now I'll be the first to tell you that I am not the biggest maintenance guru there ever was. I don't follow my manual and make sure that I service every single point all the time, you know, grease every fitting on the loader at 10 hours, stop what I'm doing to perform those maintenances and all of that, but I try to take care of my equipment. and. I greased my fittings and, and kind of took care of business, but there was one that I was missing because I never looked uh, for a list of all the different fittings that there were. And one day I went out to get on my tractor after I'd been running it for half the day and turned the key and it wouldn't do anything. And so I started kind of going through things, checking the PTO, seeing if it was engaged, different things like that. And then I moved the treadle pedal, the hydrostat pedal, uh, whatever you want to call that, and when I centered it, when the tractor fired right back up. So I was thinking return spring or something like that, you know, or maybe I just had it packed with mud and it wasn't returning to center. And that can happen. But what I found is there's a grease fitting for that pedal. And if you don't grease that fitting, then it'll start to freeze up and it'll hold in its position. So if you get off your tractor without the brake set, it'll creep forward or backward, or you get on it after running it and you turn the key and it won't start because the pedal is engaged in either forward or reverse. So, real quick, I wanna show you where that grease fitting is. And before I open the little access to get to this grease fitting, I'm just gonna warn you, I haven't checked in there yet. And every time you flip up this little pad to grease this fitting, it's usually packed full of mud and you gotta clean it all out. So I expect mine's going to because actually my tractor was covered in mud and I thought, well, if I'm gonna shoot this video, I better at least clean that up. So I hosed the tractor off, but I have not cleaned out this hole yet. So let's see what we got. Oh yeah. Well, looks like a fair amount of grease residue, so I'm not terribly upset about that. There's some mud involved there too. Let's... I can hear the grease working through there, so that's good. Let's uh, check her out from underneath. Nice little uh, hydrostat cooling fan back there. Follow this rod up and this is your hydrostat treadle pedal right here so you can see the movement there and there is basically a pass-through hole in the frame rail that needs to be greased and that's what that grease fitting fits so that's what you're working on now since we're under here with the light showing you the grease fitting i'll go ahead and tell you a couple of things about this hydrostatic pedal you have a like a torsion uh dampener right here which controls how quickly your pedal returns from whatever position you've got it pressed in. Because as you ease up on the, th the pedal or you let off, you don't want it to just quickly come back to neutral because that stops your tractor quickly. So this allows it to be a nice, smooth, controlled ride when you do that. So that's how that works. And as you push your pedal, you see the rod above it moving. That rod is connected to your hydrostatic transmission and controls your forward and backwards movement. So that's simple enough. You also have a couple of uh, adjustments or safety stops on the frame here. You can see the pedal come down to touch those bolts. Of course, this is your forward stop. 
So if you tighten that up uh, and close, bring that bolt down, then you'll get a little more forward speed out of it. And same thing with the reverse, you have one back here, you can tighten it or loosen it to control your reverse speed. I've not messed with those. I'm pretty happy with the speed of my tractor and the way everything works. So no issues there, but I thought I would go ahead and share those since I'm under here. And I understand this is not rocket science. In fact, all you have to do is open the back of your seat, pull this out of the little plastic container, and it has a lot of this information in there if you need it. But if you're like me, you like to watch this kind of stuff on YouTube and uh, you know just do things that are associated with your tractor. And so I thought I'd share this information. Maybe you'd like to consume it this way instead of getting your manual out, and that's just fine. Um, I thought it was funny. I opened this up just to see what it said about the greasing points and uh, um, what it says about your HST pedal. And when it talks about greasing your grease fittings every 10 hours, the very first one that there's a picture of is in this foot space right here. So it's what we're talking about today. But I thought I would share this because it's something you want to be well aware of. One of these days you'll be out running your tractor, you'll shut it off and when you get back on it won't start. And it's because your pedal is, is kind of froze up and not returned to neutral. And uh, so that's kind of a quick fix in the field. And then you can grease it up when you get done and get back. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a good day. Mm -hmm.